What's up guys, welcome to my first video on uh, some terminology of editing digital video. And this is actually a request I got from one of my subscribers. They uh, messaged me and said, uh, asked if I can go over video frame rate. And they also wanted to know the difference between interlace and progressive scanning. So um, in this tutorial or a video, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about that. The first thing I want to go over is video frame rate. Now what a frame of a video is, is pretty much a picture in the video. Now what video is, is pretty much a bunch of pictures put together to create the illusion of motion. For example, if you remember those old uh, video reels that you spin, it showed um, a picture of some guy going like this, then another picture of him going like this, then another picture of him going like this, and when you put it all together it kind of looked like his arm was going like that, kind of like a flip book. And this is pretty much what video is, just a bunch of pictures put together and uh, once you uh, play them all out one after another they give the illusion of motion. So um, there are two major frame rates that you're going to be dealing with when we're working with editing video. The first is a North American and Japanese standard and this is called the NTSC standard frame rate. And this records at 29.97 frames a second. So every second there's 29, actually closer to 30 pictures of video in that one second. The next uh, you're going to come across is called the PAL. And this is the European standard. And this is uh, it records at 25 frames per second. So again, the North American called the NTSC 29.97. The PAL, which is a European, is 25. Now, whenever you're looking at a video, you're not going to really be able to tell the difference between 30 and 25 frames a second. So you're probably asking yourself, all right, why is this important? Well, it's not very important when you're viewing just a raw footage. But whenever you're working with a project in, say, Premiere Pro or something, you want to make sure that your project settings are... Um, synchronize with the settings on your camcorder. So if you have NTSC or PAL settings on your project, make sure that those are the settings on your camcorder. And this is going to allow for a smoother playback whenever you're recording the DVD or uh, posting it on YouTube or the web or any place like that. So again, make sure your project settings are the exact same as your um, settings on your camcorder and this will allow for a smoother video. Another thing I wanted to go over is the difference between interlace and progressive scanning. Since a lot of people who are buying uh, new camcorders, they come across this and they don't really know what it means or what to choose. Or if you're uh, looking at your project and it says I or P, you don't really know what one to pick. So here's what that is. Back in the day when they first started uh, outputting video on TVs and stuff like that, they had a little problem when they were shooting the lines down one by one for each frame. Whenever they got to the bottom line, it began to fade out because uh, technology wasn't really up to the par of what it is today. So they came up with a system to shoot all the odd lines at one time, then come in and shoot all the even lines to create an image. And this solved a lot of the problems with um, making sure that the image didn't fade from the top to the bottom. So whenever you shoot um, all the odd lines of a frame, then come in and shoot all the even lines and uh, put them together so it creates one image, this is called interlacing. Um, today, what camcorders and um, ways to output video can do is they can just go ahead and output one, two, three, four, all the lines down to create a solid image. This is just because we have better technology now and uh, we don't have to worry about a lot of the problems that they used to. This outputting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines at a time, this is called progressive scanning. And this is pretty much what all the technology is going to be in the future. It's going to use pro progressive scanning. 